Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. I have a Brita's haul that I have been patiently and patiently waiting for. I'm so excited to open this box, you guys. I'm so, so excited. I've been, I've been fiending for this box. I love Brita's. I know you guys are interested, so I'm not going to ask if you're interested. I know you're interested, so just keep on watching. Open up this box, you guys. Um, I've got popcorn in here, so let me happen to have an empty box here. So earlier today, you guys, I did a southbound haul. I did a Sensi Club haul, and um, it's uploading right now a home warmer Halloween tour of how I've decorated inside my house. Outside my house is going to be later because we still have so much to do. Um, but that video will be coming. I'm so excited for that because we have added on um, to the outside. So, all right. I think I got most of the popcorn. Um, so it looks like I have a couple of samples. Let me grab my glasses and I'm glad this is my last video. You guys, I'm, it, I'm running out of energy and I'm, I really want to sit down and read my book and I have not had a chance to all day. So that's what we're doing. Um, I got Hansel and Gretel's holiday. So Hansel and Gretel, Fraser fur, spiced strawberry, no spice. Spiced cranberries. So this is a fun little sample. I love these samples. What I do is I just cut it in three. Cut cut its wings off and put it in three warmers. So that's that's fun. Let's see what this guy smells like. Oh, this is nice. Um Chris, I think you would like this one. Because I'm picking up a lot of that bakery. Because Hansel and Gretel, I think, is gingerbread. It's gingerbread house or something like that. Or gingerbread cookies. But that tree is... It's not in the back seat. It's in the trunk. I think you would like this one. All right, next one is Myers. So Myers is pumpkin pecan waffles, spiced autumn wreath, and fire roasted marshmallows. Is that the little ghosty? Ooh, okay. I see you, pumpkin pecan waffles. That spiced autumn wreath really um, adds. This is nice. Ooh, I like that. I like that one a lot. Cool. Um, I'm definitely picking up the pumpkin pecan waffles, and then that spiced autumn wreath is. It just, um, it brings it down from being overly sweet or cloying or bakery. And then that fire roasted marshmallow just adds an, a really nice smokiness to it. So, yay, I'm excited to take those up to my room. And then, got a pen. Next time I'm ordering from her, I'm, I get, I'm ordering a good pen. But I love these pens. This is perfect. Love it. Thank you, Britta, for the um for the pen and thank you for adding those samples um i can't even tell you how excited i am for this freaking haul it's 
so excited. Okay. Next, I got, I think most of these are lobes, you guys. You guys know I need, I, I love lobes and tubs. Soufflés are fine, but sometimes they can be too small. Empty box over here, so we can throw the trash in here. Uh, bites. All right, so I got a loaf of Ghostly Trio. This is Library Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, Apple Cider Donut, and Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Oh, and she put a pour date on there. That's cool. I think that's new. I'm not sure if it's new or not. But so there's that. Know what I'm smelling. That, um, hold on. When I first smelt it, it smelt like a freshly cleaned hotel room. I'm not going to get this out. Oh, you guys, I don't want to do this. I'm not even going to. Is this layered? Is that why? Oh, that's probably why. Okay. Yeah, so when I first smelt it, I think the, um, the library was throwing off the other scents, but... I just don't want to get wax everywhere. I already have wax everywhere all throughout my house. Little wax snowflakes, I call them. And my husband calls them pain in his ass. Okay, so I do pick up the pumpkin pecan waffles. That vanilla marshmallow, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, apple cider donut. Um, slight on that apple cider donut, really slight. Um, it just gave me a clean, like a sweet, clean smell. Like when you first walk into a, like I said, a freshly cleaned hotel room is a vibe like that. And it's probably, it's probably the library. So, um, and this was poured a month and a half ago, a month and a week ago. Oh, that pumpkin smells good though. I like this. I like this. This is different. Um, I don't have anything like it. And um, I'm definitely going to let this kind of hang out and cure. I may not get to it this year. Um, I might decide to melt it this year. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows these things? You don't know these things. All right. I'm going to have to do a chop and chat. Because I got a lot to chop. I got a lot to chop and get through. Um, okay, so this is Kim's Special Eggnog. So eggnog and roasted pine cones. I love eggnog. Um, when I, I have been stocking, when I've been going to the grocery store the past couple times, I'm like looking for eggnog. Um, my favorite is the... Um, Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't remember. They do a um they do a regular one and then they do a spiced vanilla eggnog. So good. And then you add a little um Di Sirono in there, which is a um an amaretto. And then a little spiced rum. And you top it up with some Whipped cream. Heck yeah. Ooh. That's fun. Okay. That's fun. I... This is a really nice 
really nice eggnog and then with the roasted pine cones there's um kind of a kind of a spice to it oh this is it's you are drinking eggnog next to a basket of pine cones. <laughs> no. I like that one a lot. Um, I don't know what else I can say about it. It's, it's eggnog. The eggnog, eggnog is not overpowering as well. So if you do not like eggnog, don't worry about it. It's that, that roasted pine cone is just really doing a really great job of, um, that, of not overpower, not letting that eggnog get overpowered. All right, next one is Black Christmas. So Black Christmas is cashmere cream, crackling birch, and pink evergreen. So this is kind of out of my wheelhouse. Um, I do like a smoky. I do, I've never heard of pink evergreen. I do like tree, but I like tree with bakery. There's no bakery in here. Um, and then I do like cashmere, but I also like cashmere with bakery as well. So we'll see about this one. Oh, oh. This is, may not be for me. This is clean. This is very clean. It's that evergreen. Yeah. I don't think this is going to be my, um, my, my vibe. Because I don't like clean and I don't like laundry. But, which is fine. Um, like I said, I was trying to, to step out of my comfort zone. Um, so this can go in a box. Um, see if my mom likes it or wants it or whatever. But... Um, I don't, I'm going to, I'm going to keep smelling this and maybe change my mind. Maybe as it, you know, develops a little bit more, but, um, so far that one is no, it's pretty, but I don't clean is not my fourth. It, I just don't like it. And I don't like overly, um, tree scents as well. But I tried. I'm proud of myself. I tried. Next one is sweet potato surprise. So sweet potato, brown sugar, caramelized pralines, and toasted marshmallow. You guys, Britta does, her pralines are out of this world. If you ever see Bride of Chucky, oh, Lord, sweet baby Jesus, you need to get it. Because that's one of my favorites. And I had, um, I had... I didn't have a whole lot and now I have none and I'm kind of sad about it. All right. So sweet potatoes, brown sugar, caramelized pralines, and toasted marshmallows. Ooh. Yeah. So, um, absolutely picking up on the pralines that toasted marshmallows there. Um, this sweet potato and brown sugar, it's like a sweet potato casserole and you've topped it with brown sugar and you said, F it, let's just put some marshmallows on top of that and screw it. Let's just get crazy. Let's put some caramelized pralines. Ooh, that's pretty. It is sweet, you guys. This is sweet. It is strong. I feel like this was poured on the 13th of this month. 
and she be strong, I feel like I could probably, <laughs> I could probably, um, melt this sucker now, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. All right. A loaf of palooza in this here box. Necessity of life is cookies. So gingerbread, Hansel and Gretel, Mrs. Claus cookies. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm picking up the gingerbread. Um... And it's a nice, it's not an overly spicy, overly, it's not a generic gingerbread in my opinion. This is a nice, like a, a soft buttery gingerbread is what I'm getting on this. This is so pretty. It is a buttery freaking gingerbread. Um, and then I don't know what Mrs. Claus's cookies is. I know Hansel and Gretel, I think that's, I think that has gingerbread in it as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. This is um, a beautiful gingerbread without being overly sweet, overly gingery. Um, it's not a, um, a generic. This is, like I said, it's a beautiful buttery gingerbread. So there's that. Not mad at it. All right. Oh, I was excited for this one. Dasher Slasher. So Tobacco and Bay, Santa's Pipe and Library. Tobacco and Bay, Santa's Pipe and Library. You guys. So excited to try this. Get out. You guys. Wow. Holy wow. Yeah. I'm getting tobacco. I'm getting pipe Santa's pipe. I'm getting pipe tobacco. Like it's almost like a cherry. Oh, stop it. This is so good. This is like this, this is strong. I was th like, immediately I'm thinking this is going to be, I'm going to put this in my warmers on a day that I have, it's going to be a Wednesday when puppy's gone for the day and I have nowhere to go and nothing to do. And what's going to happen is it's going to be a raining day and I'm going to be in my pajamas the majority of the day with a book in my hand snuggled up. And this is what's going to go in there. This is just, it's, I, I cannot even describe it. It's just a I, I'm I'm getting the sweetness of the tobacco and I feel like I'm getting a little cherry from the pipe like a pipe tobacco and there is a there is a dustiness in here from the library or a mustiness this is so beautiful Wow, I am so glad. I, I'm so glad. 
I got this, you guys. Um, that's that's all I gotta say about that. So Dasher Slasher, you guys. If you ever see that, if you see it and you want it, get it. If you see it and you don't want it, let me know. I'll get it. That is, so far that's my number one. And then, okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna have a lot. I, I, when I tell you I love Brita's, I love Brita's. Um, this one's Christmas Eve, so Fraser Fur, Danish Butter Cookies, and Sugar Cookie Royale. So I don't know if this is layered or if it's all of these in one. And it just... Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I don't think, I think it's just all one scent, different colors. Yeah, um, I think. Ah, it's so messy. Okay, no, it's layered. I think it's layered. Okay, so that Christmas tree or that Fraser fur, it's not heavy. This is so pretty. That is pretty. I love, I love tree with bakery. And when that, um, when the bakery is front of the line and then the trees like kind of hanging around, whispering in your ear back here, like it's here, but it's not really there. Um, I love it. Love it, love it. So, um, for Christmas Eve, this is really, really pretty. I like it. Six more loaves, and then we're done. And then tomorrow I will get to editing these. All right, next one is Haunted Hayride. So this one, ooh, small writing, Spiced Autumn Wreath, Sweet Pumpkin, Autumn Day, Mac Apple, and Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. I smell that Mac Apple, y'all. Okay. Look at that. That's so cool. I love those colors. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm smelling the same thing on all the, on, I'm smelling the same thing no matter what layer I'm smelling. Um, I do get that Mac Apple, but it's not bad. This is one I can do um, because I am picking up the other notes in here. I am picking up the, um, the Sweet Pumpkin um, and other spices in the autumn wreath. Like I am picking that up, but, um, yeah, I think those will actually come through more on warm and that Mac apple is not bad. It's not, um, it's not a sour apple. It's not a crazy, um, green apple. So, Uh, 
next one is Secret Coven. So Pumpkin Hollow, Nag Jampa, and Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallows. So Nag Jampa is another one I'm, I'm kind of scary. So dipping my toes in this one as well. Probably shouldn't have done it in a loaf, but my fear is that if I really, what if I smell this and I absolutely love it? And I only had it in the souffle and now I can't find it again or get it again for a little while or she's not going to make it or whatever. That's my fear. I will gladly, if I don't like this, share this with someone. My mom would like it. I have friends who would like it. I have wax friends who would like it. So I'm not worried about what am I going to do with it. Okay, you guys. I don't know if I've ever smelt Nag Jampa. I have. <laughs> wow. This is... I... Surprise... I like this. A lot. I'm getting, so, I'm getting the pumpkin, I'm getting the marshmallow, and that Nag Shampa, I think, I think it's like an, uh, like an incense -y? hold on, I'm going to look it up, for those of you who don't know what Nag Shampa is, so, it's an incense, um, it comes from India. Nag Champa is a fragrance of Indian origin. It's made from a combination of sandalwood and either champak or frangipani. Um, so Nag Champa is com commonly used in incense, soap, perfume oil, and essential oils, candles, wax melts, toiletries. I really, really like this. Britta, it's brilliant. Brilliant that you use this because it is that incense-y smell, that resinous, really, um, it, it's, it's already a pretty smell, but the fact that there is now a pumpkin hollow and vanilla pumpkin marshmallow to like add to the sweetness but to make it to add to the sweetness but kind of creamify it if that makes any sense oh this is stunning secret coven wow I am so glad I took some chances you guys I am look at me Really nice. Okay. Next one is the Silent Servant. So this is Tobacco and Bay, Pumpkin Hollow, and Apple Cider Donut. So Tobacco and Pumpkin. Yeah. This is nice. This is so the pumpkin. It's this is kind of bright. I think that I, apple cider donut gives it. I'm. It almost has a a fizzy, like a ginger fizzy vibe, and I think it's the apple cider. And this pumpkin hollow. I don't know what this, I don't know what the scent is for the pumpkin hollow. This is a nice, bright, busy pumpkin. But that tobacco in bay just adds, oh my gosh. 
genius. Genius, genius, genius. I will definitely be keeping my eye out for some of these scents. For more of these scents, you guys, I'm definitely keeping my eye out. Okay, I have three more. And I want to huh, I want to put the box down, but I don't want to put the box down because when I take these out, flakes of um, flakes of wax <laughs> get all over the place, and I I want it in the box and not all over all over me. Okay, next one is North Pole Predator, so eggnog, pumpkin buttercream, and yellow cake. threw me off. I felt like I got like a really, like a fruity, like a blackberry, but it's that yellow, it's that yellow cake. It is yellow cake, you guys. Oh my gosh. Eggnog and pumpkin and yellow cake. They're all playing really nicely with each other. One is not overtaking the other. That yellow cake might be overtaking both of them by a hair, just slightly. And that eggnog and the pumpkin, it's almost like a pumpkin eggnog. It's just, it's creamy. I can't tell where one ends and what where one begins and one ends. Oh my gosh. Britta is one of my top favorite vendors, you guys. Um, she, I mean, I love, I love her stuff. All right. Second to the last one is Scary Birthday to... to Scary birthday to you. So yellow cake, zucchini bread, and bourbon sauce. I love a boozy wax. Love a boozy wax. Shut the front door. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah. That bourbon sauce. <laughs> it's so cool. So yellow cake. That zucchini bread is just kind of adds more of a bready, um, a, a bakery note, a more, um, not yeast, but, um, just, at an added bakery vibe and then that bourbon sauce it's almost like you have a cake in front of you and um, and you just have this really nice like a caramel bourbon sauce that you're just putting on top of it mm. oh that's so pretty that is so pretty. I think all of these are layered, actually. And I don't want to. I don't want to lose anything. But yeah, I smell more on top than I do on the bottom, surprisingly. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take any more out because I'm losing. I'm losing stuff, and this is precious. All right. And last, but not least, is 
Um, this is Sugar Cookie Royale Cinnamon Sugar Cookie and Nutmeg, Nutmeg Spice. It's a bakery. It's a beautiful bakery. Sweet. Yeah. I am picking up on that cinnamon. And not so much the nutmeg right now. Slight nutmeg. Oh man, you guys, these are, these are so pretty. Um, so yes, a little bit of the, a, a little bit of spice, a little bit of cinnamon, um, definitely sweet, definitely a sugar cookie. Um, I, <laughs> when I said I was excited, I said I was excited. I told y'all I was excited. Okay, so I would have to say that my, the bottom one is Black Christmas for me, um, only because I think this is too clean for me. Yeah, I don't, it, there's nothing in here that I think I'm going to enjoy, so, which is fine because out of one, two, three. Out of 13, only one is not my favorite. And these were all, all of these were, were blind buys for me, you guys. I have not, um, I have never smelt any of these blends before. And, um, so I'm pretty, I, I am stoked. I am stoked. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. In no particular order. I do have a top five though. So, Necessity of Life is cookies. So, gingerbread, Hansel and Gradle, Mrs. Claus cookies. Nice, buttery, buttery, doughy gingerbread. Dasher Slasher. <laughs> That's the Tobacco and Bay, Santa's Pipe and Library. Um, I would have to say this is probably my top. I would say that was my top. Um, scary birthday to you. Yellow cake, zucchini bread, bourbon sauce. Delicious. Sweet Kevin. That's the pumpkin hollow, the nag champa, and the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And then silent servant, tobacco and bay, pumpkin hollow, and apple cider donut. all of these, but my number one would be Dasher Slasher for sure. And I want more. I want more. Okay. You guys, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope everyone is having a really good start to their weekend. Um, and I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your Friday, Saturday. Well, this is a Friday. Never mind. And it's eight o'clock. This isn't going up today. Never mind. I do hope you have a great weekend though. And um, please like, subscribe if you like this kind of content. If you like a little chaos, if you, whatever. Um, and chit chat. Let me know. Have you tried Britta's? Do you like Britta's? What is your favorite Britta's? And, um, have you tried Nag Champa? Have you tried tobacco? And Santa's pipe. I mean, I, what is your favorite scent blend? Oh, or you don't have to answer that. We could just, you know, we can just chat. Okay. You guys, that means I'm done. I'm getting kind of kooky. I'm getting a little tired and silly right now. So. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everyone who is just, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, 
and that's all I got now I'm rambling I will talk to you guys later bye